Thanks for joining us, America. We are glad you are here. Open phones at 888-825-5225. Well, the news came out this week that Google will no longer accept ads from payday lenders. A lot of people ask me on Twitter, what do you think about that, Dave? You think it's awesome? It's awesome. Isn't it? It's awesome. Well, here's an interesting thing about this. I'm Really, I'm, obviously, I don't like payday lenders. And obviously, I think it's a complete ripoff and that they're feeding on poor people. And it's a scummy, scummy, scummy business. And that none of you should ever, for any reason, step foot in a payday lender. You're going to get messed over. Now, I've told you that for 25 years here on the air. Uh, Obviously, payday lenders, guess what? The Dave Ramsey Show doesn't give, uh, will not let payday lenders advertise here. We also won't let people who sell gold advertise here. We also won't let people who sell whole life life insurance advertise here. We also, because we don't believe it's good for you. We don't let you advertise on our show if you want to lease a car to someone. Uh, We don't let credit card companies advertise on our show. Uh, So, you know, because we don't believe it's good for folks. We're a private business. We're not a public utility. We're not a federal government. Uh, uh, We're not a department of the government. Um, and so I, I get to choose who we allow to be on our network. Google is the same thing. They're a private business. The, the difference is obviously that Google's a wee bit bigger than the Dave Ramsey show. Just a little. Yeah, I think, you know, I mean, they're ubiquitous. It's just like, if you if you can't find, if you can't, if you can't be found on a Google search, you're like going to, your bit, your, your business is going to be damaged dramatically. And, and so, you know, the word came out, Facebook is throttling uh, conservative articles and conservative and Christian things and so forth this week. And Facebook has throttled us off and on for years. We've, we've you know, been able to prove it. And it's not, you know, we're not being paranoid, but Facebook's a private business. They get to decide what they want to have go through their network. I don't get to decide that. They get to decide that. Google gets to decide who they want to advertise with who they want to allow to advertise. And that doesn't mean you can't find a payday lender on Google. It means they're just not going to take ads on its site. You know, sponsored ads and Google words and so forth, that kind of a thing. But you can still find a payday lender on Google. And, you know, I, I to, to my knowledge, Google doesn't take porn ads either. And basically payday lenders are, are financial pornography. That's what it is. So is it, you know, is it, you know, it's freedom of speech. It's not freedom of speech. It's a private company. You know, our culture has lost its ability to do critical thought. And so, you know, a lot of your first reaction is if Google won't let them, then they're just, that's, they, you know, you don't have a right to tell Google what they can do. They're an independent company. You don't have a right to tell just because they're big doesn't mean you get to tell them what to do. You don't get to tell Walmart what to do. I can't make Walmart carry my books. Google, you know, Walmart refuses to do such and such. Well, that's Walmart's prerogative. They're a private business. Now, they do carry my books, by the way. We have a good relationship with Walmart, but we're actually kind of Walmart fans around here. But, aside, you know, the, the point is, is that, you know, you can't make McDonald's have low-calorie meals. They may choose to because the marketplace has moved that way. And I never thought I'd live to see the day you could get a freaking salad at McDonald's, you know, ugh, gag, you know, it's the worst possible thought is to eat a salad at a place. I bet, you know, but they, it's there, man. I mean, you can now buy fruit at McDonald's. Oh my God. Why? Because everybody's so gone nutso over calories And it's almost as if some of you people think that you have a right to tell McDonald's what to do. No, you tell them by not doing business with them because you don't want to eat the crap that they have. And if that does that, then they'll change the crap that they serve, right? And you get to do the same thing here. If you don't like this show, you don't get to tell me what I'm going to say. It's called the Dave Ramsey show. (laughs) Means, you know, if you you were going to, you know, the I've. Um, you know, you put your, insert your name and get you a show. And then, you know, you can say what you want to say, but I get to say what I want to say here. That's the thing. And if, you know, how do you, how do you control that? You don't listen anymore. If I have no listeners, then I don't have any power, right? I don't have any power to influence anymore. And so all of you leave, turn the dial. That's what you do. And so if you don't, but you don't get to tell Google. Now I, I actually applaud Google for doing this. I think there's some other 
people ought to look up and realize who they're advertising for and what they're allowing their private business to be used for that's not good for people. And, but, but I, you know, I'm okay if they allow them to advertise or they don't allow them to advertise. It's, it's irrelevant to me because I doubt that Google's endorsement of the payday lender industry or non-endorsement of the payday lender industry is really going to cripple them one way or the other. That, you know, they're not, it's not their market. And, and so, it, it, but obviously I'm not a fan of the payday lenders. I just think it's interesting that some of you go, well, I don't know, man, it's freedom of speech. We didn't tell them they couldn't operate. Nobody passed a law. Google does not pass laws. They don't get to tell people whether they can be in business or not. They just get to tell them whether they can advertise there or not. You know, like I had a guy walk in here acting crazy in the office one day, and I said, dude, you need to leave. And he's like, this is it's public property. It's not public property, you doofus. It says Ramsey on the front of it. I own it. It's not public property. And now you got to deal with a hillbilly redneck. Get out of the building. You're acting crazy, you know? And so you know, people are stupid, though. You guys have, some of you have lost your critical thought. You get to tell private businesses how they act. No, you don't. You get to vote with your wallet and your participation with that business. If you choose to never do business with X, Y, or Z again because they did something that you don't agree with, you don't like Target's bathroom policy, or you don't like whatever, that's fine. That's fine. But, you know, some of you think you've got power that you don't have. I'm never going to North Carolina again. Well, I'll be over there. I like North Carolina. You know, I like it. I like Georgia, too. You know, I'll be there and be spending my money there. So it's okay. You get to decide that. But you don't get this thing where you're going to tell private businesses how they operate and what they can do and can't do because it's freedom of speech is is gotten out of control. You know, it's code for... Uh, you know, the only the only speech that people are worried about is speech that they like. That's the only kind of freedom of speech they want people to have. It's speech that that, that I agree with, and uh, that's not what that's not the way it works. Tolerance is only things that I tolerate. It's, uh, that's what it means out there today. So it's an inter- It's brought up an interesting discussion. This whole Google thing, just because it's revealed that some of you actually feel like Google is so ubiquitous that it's as if you have a right to them. Everyone should have a right to them under freedom of speech just because they're big. No. Nope. Absolutely not. They could decide tomorrow to not let Dave Ramsey advertise. They could decide that. And I won't like it because we do a lot of business with them. I write a lot of checks to Google every month. Big checks. We do a lot of Google search words, a lot of different things as part of our social strategy here. You know, we, we, it's a fine organization. We don't have any trouble doing business with them, all that kind of stuff, but they could just decide tomorrow that they don't want us as a customer. They have that legal, moral, and ethical right. They could just go, not going to do that. And then you would have to decide if you wanted to react to that or not. But, uh, I think most people will react positively to them banning payday loan advertisements at Google. The decision is the first time Google has announced a global ban on ads for a broad category of financial products, according to the article. Interesting to think about. Hmm. So uh, there you go. But uh, when the big dogs start doing this stuff, everybody pays attention to what's happening on the porch all of a sudden. There you go. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show. And so you have to break the cycle. You have to flip this thing on its head and make it behave. You've got to get so fired up and wired up that your broke friends think you've lost your mind.